Okay, I've been meaning to talk to you guys about this for a while, but this headline really made me have to just stop everything and do it right now. PR firms. We were going to have to really start watching out for PR firms because I would say, like, well, the other day I did a video with Naira and she was the daughter of the ambassador who was coached and put in front of Congress to lie about babies being pulled out of incubators to get us into the Iraq war. She was used by a PR firm that had been hired to lie us into that war. Since then, I would say it's a pretty safe bet that not a single tragedy, emergency, or any kind of FF event didn't come with a PR team. And unfortunately, the coronavirus is not turning out to be any different. And I knew it as soon <clears throat> as I heard the term panic buying. And a good rule of thumb whenever you're dealing with PR firms spinning reality is that if you hear the introduction of a new term into the social psyche, then you can bet there's a PR firm involved. You know, um, before 9-11, there was really only one obscure meaning for ground zero and that was exactly the spot where a nuclear bomb went off but now I mean you say ground zero everybody knows exactly what you're talking about and where and when and this is probably the same PR firm that had us eating freedom fries instead of french fries at the time because the french didn't support us in the war <clears throat> So I keep, you know, my eye out for terms like this. In the case of panic buying, they are wanting to blame the consumer, the citizen, us, for the bare shelves. But unfortunately, that doesn't line up. Now, I know we've all seen one or two videos of people ripping things off the shelves. But I will say I've seen I see more videos of pan of quote panic buying on Christmas and on Black Friday than I ever have over the coronavirus. And when I went out, which I did today, and I went to Walmart and I went to Costco and I went to all these places, the grocery store had everything. Walmart and Costco were out of things. Let's talk about what they were out of. Like this article says, toilet paper, of all things. Hardy har har, people are buying toilet paper, panic buying toilet paper of all things. Isn't that funny? Well, when I went to my Walmart, what they were out of? Paper products, essentially, and generic medicine. Now, on the shelf, they won't show you this in these supposed panic buying videos. On the shelf, right next to the big, giant, empty shelves of generic Tylenol, there's name brand Tylenol. Don't let a hired PR firm convince you that these corporations have empty shelves because of us. They have empty shelves because they put all of their eggs in one basket concerning those products, and that basket was called China. Do not let the citizenry take the fall for the breakdown in the supply chain. Those shelves are not empty because thousands of people ran up to them like mad mobs ripping toilet paper rolls out of Walmart. They're empty because as Shopper 1 and Shopper 2 moseyed on up, no toilet paper replaced them. They have no stock because they got it all from China. Now, there was a time where you would just have to be truthful with the consumer about something like this, but now you just hire a PR firm, some guy in a 
in a jacket on the 14th floor comes up with the term panic buying and says look we just share some old videos from Black Friday 2015 and tell people they're panicking and taking toilet paper and generic Tylenol to the extent that we can't possibly keep up with the demand and we'll blame it on them brilliant these people are sick and you know let's just go through this article for SNGs who do you think CNN blames for the panic buying reason one people resort to extremes when they hear conflicting messages because Trump and they use the strangest pictures in these um, PR releases Reason two, some are reacting to the lack of a clear direction from officials, which is the same as reason one. We'll go back and read it. People resort to extremes when they hear conflicting messages. And then reason two again. Some are reacting to the lack of a clear direction from fi officials. Same thing. Reason three, panic buying begets panic buying. Yeah. When uh, you start showing videos to people of people freaking out and pulling things off the shelves, you cause people to go out and get things off the shelves. This is literally how they've used the Black Friday mental manipulations against us for years to incite this type of stuff. It's natural to want to over-prepare and it allows some to feel a, a sense of control in these uncertain times of Trump. This crap is garbage. Every time you're reading a CNN article, remember it's Pravda. And anytime you hear a term that you've never heard before inserted into the social conscience, know that that term was put there by someone for a reason. Have you seen anybody panic buying with your own eyes? Because I've seen the empty shelves with my own eyes, and that was confirming my hypothesis of a Chinese supply chain breakdown. I haven't seen anybody with my own eyes beating people up or ripping toilet paper out of each other's hands, so I didn't even go in there looking to confirm that. You are not panic buying. Your neighbor is not panic buying. Nobody has a garage full of toilet paper. Walmart and Costco can't restock the stuff that they were getting from China exclusively. Don't let them blame you. Like, share, subscribe.